Another Android 12 based custom ROM is out there for the mutual devices this time Redmi Note 9s Pro, Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. This is CAF extended of course CAF based. This looks quite good by the way. It has some basic features for you like as you can see at Wi-Fi we have this 4 indicator which you only get in the C with CAF based custom rooms by the way. We are talking about the CAF extended version v3.0 unofficial version for the Mi 2 devices. It's unfortunately not available for other devices yet as far as I know because I have used Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 10 Pro. It's not available for all of those devices but for Mi 2 devices it's their unofficial build but yes you can give it a try if you want to. It has the latest October security patch with of course Android version 12 we are talking about. Let's just talk about the default things first of all and how's the performance and smoothness. It's good as expected it's quite smooth i'll share with you this i will share with you a cpu plotting test very very soon so stay tuned for that unless and until this looks better this looks more than what i was expecting this it has a pixel launcher as expectedly it has a pixel launcher pre-installed for you unfortunately no customizable launcher yet but yes we may expect these things very soon because it's still in initial stage of course Android 12 is still not usable as a daily driver if this is your primary device but if this is not your primary device or if you are aware of those those things then you can give it a try google camera go edition is what you get pre-installed which is actually quite good because it's far more better than the normal snap camera but it depends upon which device you're using if you're using your device i think so you can use android 12 as your daily driver at least for now because it has almost all the basic features working there might be some of the bugs there but yes those are not major bugs so yes you can use it it's all up to you all about user preferences we have the google camera go edition we uh, have pre-installed that and if you also want to install the normal google camera except the gcam go edition then yes you can install this gcam also i made a video just today morning that which is the gcam i'm using on my redmi note 8 on my hindi channel and the same gcam is working here too so yes you can give it a try if you want to it's just up to you i'm not going to share with you other things here but looks better i think so this is a very good kind of custom home for you let's just move on to some other things as you can see the lens switching also does not have any kind of major issues here this is the main thing called cpu throttling uh, which matters a lot for some of the users of course after all these are just scores but still if you want to check it out no cpu thermal throttling detected which was expected but you can see the maximum performance going to 143989 i was expecting 141 at least because in the previous room where i was expecting very great performance it was at 141 now we have 143 so yes it beats all the custom rooms based on android 12 in the terms of performance at least for now we may expect some cool interesting things very very soon and also the best thing is you have the unlimited google photo storage which matters a lot it's there this is actually quite good and i think so most of the users will definitely use this you get the storage saver quality unlimited storage unfortunately not original quality but storage saver of course something is actually good than nothing because if you use some other custom homes you might not get these features which is good and including that the best thing is you can see safeness status also does not have any kind of issues in my case safeness status is passing without having any issues by the way depends upon if you have rooted your device or if you have not in my case i'm not using a rooted device you can see the redmi note 9 pro safety net compatibility test is passed cts profile is success basic integrity is success let me show you that i haven't rooted my device yet moving on to root checker to show you some users just don't believe me so as you can see root access is not properly installed on this device so yes no root access safety status is passing out of the box which is actually good it also includes the xiaomi pass of course xiaomi pass includes some extra features for you fps info overlay xiaomi doors ambient display gestures clear speaker everything is there for you clear speaker is actually quite good by the way i've used this in xiaomi devices a very perfect feature 30 second audio to clear the audio speaker yeah, that's actually quite good including that fps info overlay which will show you that if your device is having actual fps 60 fps it's just working pretty smooth i'm not sure about gaming by the way but it's good i think so this might be a very good choice for you last but not the least some basic features are also there like display etc status bar items which you can enable or disable some items some icons from status bar 4g icon replacement status bar double tap to put for sleep double tap to wake and some basic features are already there if you want to install this build you can i will put you the link in the description to install this build installation is same like other custom so yes this is all thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through 